it's an interesting, bold claim that made me say, okay, all the more. Is this shit really that good? Let's go. So here I am. I bought my little TRs and objectives and my Purif. And, uh, and I said to the supervisor, because now by the time I finished, that was 11 o'clock at night. And I'm like, uh, okay, well, when do we start? You know, she said, when can you come in to start the course to finish up? I said, you know, let's start tomorrow. I said, oh, it can be here 7 in the morning. I said, well, we don't start till, till 9. I said, you know, I am come here to do something. I've been here all day. You guys say you got a product, you want it, you know. So she came in at 8 o'clock for me. So I came in and I just started. And I read all my shit in there. And uh, and uh, sounded good. And the first exercise is a thing called OT TR zero, which is basically where you sit three feet apart from somebody. You cannot have any any thinking mechanism, and you close your eyes and you're totally relaxed. But there's another person three feet in front of you doing the exact same thing, and the exercise is to be in communication with that person and your environment but fully the key word is confronting which is he defines as facing without flinching so without thinking anything like if I'm thinking I'm doing it with you I'm thinking okay Mark he's got that beard and he's probably hiding by then I'm flunking because I'm thinking instead of just being there without any thinking and so I have to be able to be, and you do this, it says, until you get a major stable win. Okay? So I say, fuck it, okay, here's my first Scientology shit, and I'm there with some whoever, and I'm sitting there, and I'm facing him without flinching, and I had a major, major stable win. What I did, according to Scientologists, and I don't have any other nomenclature for it, so it would work for me, but I went exterior. So in other words, uh, the concept would be your Thetan, you, your soul, whatever you want to call it. That's who you are. You're not the body. I'm not Jason Begay. Jason Begay, it's like, it's like buying a new car. I'm the driver of the car, okay? So basically, I went exterior, and to get back to the beginning of my story, I felt for the first fucking time the biggest win in my life. I knew who I was. That question that I've been asking since I was cognizant. Who am I? I knew who I was. And this was huge for me. I said, wow. And this is not even that fucking auditing stuff they talk about. This is just some fucking, you know, some thing. Yeah. And I said, shit, that's awesome. So I was blown out of my socks, happy. Like, I, and I, I, I mean, I was like, oh, so that's who I am. You know, because I knew I wasn't this thing, because I sometimes would have this personality. Sometimes I was a phony. Sometimes I was, you know, you never know if you're real or not. You know, but then there's those moments when, so it's like, who are you? You know, and I could see, I could create effects on people and stuff. This is all this going up. I mean, it was really interesting. Why would this person like me? You know, I knew why I liked them, but why did they like me? But you said back in class that you didn't trust yourself. Why didn't you trust yourself? I didn't know who I was. So I go down and I say, okay, I want to buy this clear thing. I'm going to do that because that, that's enough for me. I just go right there. No reg ever had to reg me. As a matter of fact, I used to reg the regs. They would fucking run because I, I'd do things to them, you know, and stuff like that. I'd fuck with them. I like doing that. But at any rate, so I go to the reg, I say, I want to do this thing. And I figure it's going to be like, you know, between five and ten grand. You know, because the pure up thing was a, like eleven hundred. Freaking clear thing, it's going to be more. But I figured, what the fuck, I had a couple of bucks saved. And I said, what? well, I buy the fucking, and they, they tell me the price of the thing. And that's another thing. You know, the way they, they just can't say, you know, you know, oh, yeah, the clear, it's eleven fifty. You know, it's like they, 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 they just have to. They're not used to somebody just coming in and saying, let me get that thing. So that was hours and hours and hours. And, of course, Bodhi, you know, it's like he's in there with me and he's my FSM. And at that point, you know, he's going to get 10% and he's excited because, you know, he was broke at the time. And uh, at any rate, it was like 50 grand. So within three weeks, uh, no, within three days. And I probably had 60 grand in my name at that point. I plopped down 50. I said, let's go. 
That's a huge commitment. Well, and so that, that, everybody fell in love with me, and David Miscavige called me, and all that, everybody, but they start, you know, now he wrote me a letter and all this shit, and, you know, everybody's got all this excitement about me. And then the, the other thing was that the part of the reason it cost 50 grand also was because they said, uh, you, you know, training. I said, what's fucking training? And they said, you mean, I can't, I just thought you sat there, you held those cans, I'd done it in the interview, it sounded easy. I say, uh, and if it's going to be that great, and I remember reading what clear is and all that sounds pretty fucking good. And all I'd done is sat there and I knew who I was. That's all I'd ever, which probably the biggest win I had in Scientology was on that first day. At any rate, so I go, uh, uh, I go to, uh, they, 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 they sell the, the training. I said, what's that? Well, you learn to be an auditor. I said, listen. You know, I'm an actor. I'm not an auditor. You know, that's cool. You know, but I'm not, and they're trying to get me to do this thing and buy a fucking e-meter. And I, you know, 3,000 what for that fucking thing? It looks like a fucking transistor radio. And, uh, but I'm like, oh, man. Okay. But I trust them. I figure, you know, because they're delivering a thing. These are good people. You know what I mean? And, they, and I'm also looking at these people, and it's these decent people. They're decent. And I'm trusting. So, and they are. And, uh, and so they sell me the train. They tell me, finally, the only reason I bought the train, they said, it's half the wins. Oh, so you, in order to get the, you, the wins of the auditing and really going clear, you have to be trained. I said, well, then give me the training package. So I bought a Class 5 training package because they said you had to be trained as, as trained as you're clear. And I said, what's well, a clear guy? So Class 5. Now, you should know that a lot of people fall for this sales thing. And there is probably, I would guess, my guess is conservatively is there is probably $500 million, is my guess off the top of my head, of unused training that has been bought. People buy it, but they can't confront it. They can't face it without flinching. Okay? Me, I'm a class five auditor. I fucking did it. I liked it. I thought it was cool. And I actually got a lot of wins out of that shit. So that was part of another reason why people liked me, because I was actually doing that. I didn't mind going on. I would quit. I'd say, I don't want to go on that audition. I'm going on a course. You know, I was getting, I was here to go clear. And I figured I can do this in about five, six months. What the fuck? You know, let's go. And, and I basically did that. You know, I'd stop to do a little bit of stuff to pay the rent. And, and, but basically, I was, I was in the org from 8 in the morning. I had my own auditor. And she just ordered me all day. I got all the other PCs off her fucking line. And I just went clear. Well, I actually went through my grades. It turned out I was a past life clear. That's why I was so able. And, uh... So explain what that concept is, of past life clear. <laughs> well, what is that? Oh, dear God. Past life clear. Well, I, in other words, you know, I was born in 1960. Scientology uh, was developed in 1952, but LRH was doing uh, Dianetics. <sighs> I'm having a moment. <sighs> See, this is part of the moments of, of, of coming out of Scientology, for me at least. I, 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 would, I think it might be something common to a lot of people, but... There are moments where you just feel a loss. And it's not a loss of, I miss Scientology by any stretch. It's a loss. It's a regret of, 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 of having invested so much in something that is empty and uh, and so there are these moments and I just had one where you just go <sighs> so at any rate a, a, a past life clear would be somebody because a, a clear is, an, is a, if, even though LRH says absolutes are unobtainable that's a state that he called a homo nobis. You're not even a human being. You're not even a homo sapiens anymore. Homo sap, as he calls it. You're a homo nobis, which would be new man in Latin. And, uh, and uh, so it's a, it's a new state on the evolutionary track. 
so I'm more evolved than 